what is it, Thursday? Already? No. Already? I've just been wearing these glasses by now. What am I doing? Welcome employees to begin shift. Fuck him. Yeah, I know the drill. It's my fourth day on the job. I'm waiting for Carol to call me. I know she's going to call me. She's going to call me. Let's read up on some carbon monoxide. Has it audio? Sounds like air. Stale buildup can be caused by poorly installed maintained stove and water heater appliances or poor ventilation. Oh, we got a call. It's probably Carol. Carol, I've been Carol expecting you. I've been watching the closely, employee. I'm impressed the. so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Thank Keep you, Carol. Keep up the great Carol. work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Carol, why are you speaking in these weird terms? Permissions have been updated. You already know, an attic gnome. Oh, good gracious, that doesn't look anything like the garden gnome that I have back in my garden. Attic gnome is a subspecies of gnome gnome to nest in attics and ceilings. You cannot call me when I am in the middle of listening to what an attic gnome sounds like. Go for Peggy. The map is something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. Mm -hmm. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems until now. Of course, I keep of course. Hearing things about rustic pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So yeah, it happens. Send someone out to get this fixed. I hear it's turning the frogs gay. But, you know, what can you do in this world? <laughs> Got something. Gotta, gotta fix your stuff, Ash. Alright, Cellar Grotto. Oh, God. Large cave like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars. Higher humidity, increase in beetles, frogs, and related pests. A fey feast. Mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances. A fey flu. Oh, good lord! You got flowers popping out of your face! I don't think I like the hood. A laundry gnome. You gonna fold my laundry? Fold their bodies into various shapes, often resembling dirty towels. What did you have? I think you have some type of pipe growth. Right? I'm not sure it's a pipe hub either. A portal. Door shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered most commonly in basements. Interesting. Some species of wisp in the form of bright floating light. Oh, these bad boys. Night gnome. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Seedling. Small insect toy. Okay. I'm gonna say you have a, a pipe growth. Travel gnome. Invasive subspecies of gnome. Stow away inside luggage. Interesting. All right. You probably have a pipe growth. It's probably getting into your water supply. You don't want to eat it. You really want to stop consuming that, actually. Nope. Oh, my God. It, you know, it really its such a chore. All right, Ash. You have a good day now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I swear, these freaking headphones, they just... They don't work like they used to. Go for Peggy. Wanda! Hello? I thought 
followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. And she told me not to call anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. I'm sorry. Wanda, I'm sorry. I think we took your cat. Wanda, I worry for you. I worry for you. Maybe it was the right thing that we took over Whiskers. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was the right thing. The police told me to call this number. Felicia. So I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring oh, into the Felicia. house. Oh, Felicia. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. Oh, Felicia. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I will try I my best, ma'am. Please hold. Please hold, Felicia. What was that one that I just... The Night Gnome? Night Gnomes are small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They're known for the tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by Night Gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds. They can see the shadow at night. Staring into the house. And they can hear him breathing. Did you need a CPAP machine, sir? You gotta get something checked with the, I don't know, the brachials? Something doesn't sound right there. Felicia, you might have a night gnome. Night wisp the seventh forms a bright floating light. Yeah, Felicia, I think you have a night gnome. It's the only one that makes sense. I mean, like... <sighs> you know? I'm gonna have to call Debbie after this. She's gonna hear from me. This job is very peculiar. Very peculiar indeed. All right, Felicia, you have a good one now. Seedling. Never remove a weed from a seedling in festive garden. You know to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves? What is going on? Hello, yes, I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Mm. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Mm-hmm. Okay, please hold, please Belinda. Hold. Shit. Oh, I don't know this one. Why did I turn Australian? <laughs> Carbon monoxide? No, it's not that. Bees? Attic gnome. Knocking sounds or surplus of dust coming out of the ventilation system. Awful banging noises coming from the ceiling. Oh my god! It might be an attic gnome. Okay, one second. What else could it be? You have a... Um, you have mice? No, it's an attic gnome for sure. Right! My daughter's been coughing. There's problems with the ventilation system. We hear noises in the ceiling. Attic gnomes. You can consume dust. When frightened, they will violently expel their meals. Oh my. Oh, good. Yikes. All right, I believe you have an attic gnome, Belinda. Yeah. You can call one of our services to help you get rid of that. 
you know, I apologize for the inconvenience. All right, I think we're doing really well for Thursday. Don't you? Thursday's always such a drag. It's so close to the weekend, but it's not Friday. It's just one of the last days of the week, though, and you're getting a little antsy. Go for Peggy. Please help May. me. May. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So oh May, I'm please, so sorry. Oh May. Oh, from one mother to another. I am so sorry. Please hold. Please hold. All right, let's see what we have here. The missing children. What was that one um Something about the... Something about the, uh... Artifacts? Artifacts. Report out-of-place objects and missing children or pets. False artifacts are seemingly human-designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They're known for making a gentle buzzing sound. Gentle buzzing sound like bees. Oh my god, May. Oh my god, May. Bees. Jeremy. Was Jeremy hold should a child or pet be left alone with the false artifact? They are at risk of being encased within. Oh my god. May, you might have a false artifact in the closet. Jamie was listening to it. He could understand it. He just got himself eaten. Oh no, May. I really do apologize for the inconvenience. Please call our HSH pest removal service, please. Oh no, there's nothing we can do when they're encased. Oh no, there's nothing we can do. Oh May, I, um, I really, I do apologize. We will send a memory wisp your way. Go for Peggy. Hi. Leo. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the mm. basement that were not previously disclosed, as mm. well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Yeah. Legal advice? No, but I can help you, Leo. Please, Please hold. hold. So... It's the Fracture Hub, right? The Fracture Hub, listen, it's a Fracture Hub. All you have to do is leave out some cheese. They shouldn't be making more cracks. You could probably fill them in. You could probably fill them in, but leave the cheese. All right, because Gary didn't leave out the cream and you don't wanna know what happened to Gary. Actually, I'm not even too sure what happened to Gary. Nothing good. It was, it most certainly was a fracture hub. So, I apologize for the inconvenience. Um, cheese can be pretty cheap. You can make your own cheese. It says leave out any kind of cheese. You can make your own cheese. Maybe invest in a cow? You really don't want these things metamorphizing. Oh my gosh, go for Peggy. Dub rubber. Who are you, my father? Orange drink. Too many mouths to feed. 
God, Bravo, we don't sell any orange drink here. What is a pepper squeeze? Oh, he got into a little bit of a beat. What's a pepper squeeze? Look at those little beady eyes on the gopher. Why did the phone sound like that? Hey, so my doctor told me I should I number. I have no idea why he won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and mm -hmm. just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really pink. freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. Is that the Fae flu? I think I can help you, Phil. Please hold. Please hold. I think I can help you. The f Okay, well, we know. It might be a network error. Error. <laughs> there may be a network error. But we know. That it's the face flu. Because we saw that it was the pink all over the face. We saw I believe I remember hearing about headaches. I believe I remember hearing about headaches. But let's do that. Um, the Fae flu. There's not much I can really do when the network is down. I'm so sorry that you had to call at this time, Phil. The Fae flu. Yes. Submit. Um, there's probably some type of antibiotic that you can take. Don't even worry about it, Phil. At least you're gonna look pretty. I wish I had flowers coming out of my face. Go for Peggy. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! Alright, calm holes down. all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! Holes? I'm around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking kitchen. David goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. Oh no. I need help. Bad. Yeah, you do, Kyle. Alright, please, please hold. hold. Please tell me this is backup, because I have no idea what he's talking about. What could this be? I'm actually confused. You got roots, maybe? I don't know. Big wooden splinters. I, I'm gonna say you have floor roots. I'm gonna say it's floor roots. I apologize that you have floor roots. It may have taken your dog. Okay. Good. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Oh! Go for Peggy. Jackie. All right, I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation, and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? All right, please hold. You please have hold. you have soil in your living room? Oh no. I am also unsure of what this one might be. It cannot be the black mold. It would not be in that large of a quantity. It's not the bees. It's certainly not the bees. You either have seedlings inside your home or it's more it's more floor roots. I'm gonna say you have floor roots. Truthfully, Jackie, this is beyond my expertise. 
Maybe you should call my friend Debbie. She might have the answers for you. Because I, for one, am unsure. All right. And that's that. All right. I'm ready for another one. Oh, good. Digestive issue. Well, I got good news and bad news. Bad news is the info you sent wasn't any help at all. Oh. So, uh... Thanks for that. Good news is I found Goblin. She freaking came crawling out of that hole with a big bump on her head or something. So I'm taking her to the vet now. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for trying, I guess. Well, how was I supposed to know? Also, that's unicorn fungi, babes. You gotta get that really... Yeah, that's... I could have helped you with that one. She's got unicorn fungi. Someone better tell me what, what these are that I've gotten wrong, because I'm truly... Oh, furiously digging around the inside the home. I mean, like, I guess... Said he got holes in... Okay, I guess it's... whatever. Hello again. Yeah, I'm kind of having an emergency now thanks to the info you sent me not being effective in the slightest. This living room plant situation has only gotten worse. Jackie, now listen, I told you I was not. To groan under the weight. There's something hiding in tall grass by the couch, and I don't think it's friendly. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Jackie? Did I do that? Jackie, I had no answers for the questions that you had posed me. Oh no. That is truly... Go for Peggy. Larry! There's something, There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing okay, down there, Okay, you see, I now this I got a hold of. A lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. Okay, Larry. Deal with something like this. One second. Give me a second, Please babe. Hold. Please hold. Now this. This I understand. Larry, what you have here is a cellar grotto. Bad smell. Smells like a sewer. Higher humidity. It's a lot of water. Mm. What about the growth? Slimy residue, sound of dripping or stretching, a strange glows coming from the cellar. Did he say anything about a glow? Oh, I have a feeling it's a gr grotto. Gary. Gary? Larry. Gary is most certainly dead for not leaving out the bowl of cream. Larry, I think you got yourself a grotto. Do you have a small little bit of gold? Do you have a little bit of gold? Give this gold to the grotto man. Yeah. It's definitely a grotto. I'm not even... I don't get paid enough for this. Truthfully, I do not get paid enough for this. Ugh, what is it? A cellar grotto? I already cast it. Yeah, you got a grotto, babes. And if it's not, I need to leave. Clearly, Debbie thought way too highly of me to be... Now, just wait a minute. Why is the devil's number on my screen right now? I know my accuracy was better than that. Y'all are just tempting me. You're tempting me. You're making me want to quit even more. 
I re I'm gonna have to have a talk with Debbie. She will be hearing from me. Making me work for a devil company. Let's check my mailbox. Do not a come do not a come to the hole. What is that? An eyeball? The hole is breached. I repeat the hole Oh my god. Can you The hole is breached. It's nice not safe here. Must find a new spot. I know it knows I'm here. Oh, that's interesting. Employee number 36 regarding your schedule this week due to a shortage of available staff. We will need you to work. Come into work this Saturday and Sunday. I can't do Sunday. I am a part of my church's choir and I need to be there. I can do the late shift. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured your additional labors will be recognized recognized how all right i need to get myself a new pair of nails and another one of these lipsticks if you know what i mean all right whatever we're clocking in what is it friday now i still have saturday and sunday that i need to come in here are you kidding me Cal better be here. Yeah, I'm clocking in. I oh, two more days left of work. Are you kidding me? All right, Carol. What do you have for me? Hello. I have the hiccups. Supervisor Carol here. Site accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Carol, you're talking funny. Is this the new lingo that kids are using these days? Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. Carol, what? Animation? Miniature humanoid figures such as dwarves. Go for Peggy. Ouch! It wasn't the faucet at all. It was this thing inside of me? It's grown in my garden. I saw the x-ray. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Please, I'm in so much pain. Get it out of me. Oh no, I think it's Tell a bee. doctors to get it out of me. Oh, I think it's a bee. Oh, you probably have a bee. Oh, I just realized he was talking about having fresh homegrown vegetables and stuff. Yeah, you know what? That really, that was my fault. That was definitely my fault. It was definitely a beat. You ate a beat. You are going to die. My prayers are with you. Go for Peggy. Patrice. Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults. Oh things no! Things because he's been gone for days now, and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in Patrice, my I will the help tree you. Is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Satanistic ritual crap, I assume. But tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Patrice, I hear you, and I will Please do everything hold. in my power. What the hell is she talking about? Large spider-like creatures weave dreams into reality. False flower. Long slender creatures resemble common house plant. A kobold. Five foot tall humanoid creature with dog-like face. Well, that's exciting. A sprig tree. Rapidly growing tree-like organisms that take root in a human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days? Wait, 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 wait. He's been gone for days now, and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. 
Oh no. Oh, Patrice. Patrice, your son turned into a tree. Oh, Patrice. Oh no. A trash gnome? All right. Patrice, it seems to me you have a sprig tree. Your child has turned into a tree. Yeah. I really do apologize for this inconvenience. Your son is dead. I always hate being the bearer of bad news, you know, but I'm just doing my job. Go for Peggy. Hey, I called Robert. last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? I was just told that I had to work Saturday and Sunday on my day of rest. The Lord's Day. I don't have time for you. It's a common hog. <sighs> Debbie is really gonna hear from me. She's really gonna hear from me. We never finished reading about this one. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night. Missing and stolen household objects. Go for Peggy. Pamela! Yes. Hi, I recently purchased from your company I can one help. of your home security installation services, and not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be sing. some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Hmm. Singing in a greenhouse. Please, Please hold, Pamela. Hold. Singing in a greenhouse. Singing in a greenhouse. All they oh my gosh. All they do is sing at night. This is the only one that I know has singing in it. Whistling fungi. Well, I'm gonna say that you have some whistling fungi. Pamela. I don't know. I'm not very good at this job. I'm still new. I'm still new. Has, was anybody ever an expert at their job one weekend? Not even. Five days. I've been here five days. Go for Peggy. Hey, Flipper. I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what Flipper. I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I like a man and, who works out. Uh, spit, crud, and juice, and uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Flipper? What was that? <clears throat> Go for Peggy. Hello. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller. Yes. Yes. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Thank you, Carol. I was tired of getting those 
prank calls. There's that weird phone calling again, that sound. The wah wah wah. There's, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Andy, oh. I'm right on it. I am right on it, Andy. Now, what it sounds like to me is you have yourself a lamp, a lamp sprite. Ah, oh, the network is down. I can't do it when the network goes down. I truly cannot do it. All right, Andy, I believe you have a lamp sprite. They cause a little bit of a burning scent throughout the house. I'm unsure about the whole... They have wings. There's not much I can do when there's a network error. Okay? I'm doing the best that I can, Andy. Okay. Can we get this sorted? Can we get this network error sorted? Oh, you can still listen to the audio. Oh, all right. Go for Peggy. Albert! It, it took my daughter! It took my daughter! She, she's gone! It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Please hold. Tendrils, you say? Down into the... Down with it? The false... The, the, the roots? The floor roots? The last time I said it was floor roots to two other people, it was not floor roots. I don't know how to help. Hopefully. I am an experiment. This job was not the job for me. Yellow. Helen. It, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm, I'm not me anymore. I'm, it, he, 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 he took me. He took me. I can't see myself. Helen, 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 sweetie, I know, Please I know. Hold. Oh, your poor voice, it really, it shook me to my core. Helen, I think I know what you've seen, babe. I think I know what you've seen, I think I know. You need to catch it. You need to catch it, Helen. Helen, you need to catch this Mia Nymph. I know that this is what happened. I just know it in my heart that you've been affected by a Mia Nymph. I really, my condolences to you. You gotta catch it, sweetheart. You gotta catch it. You gotta go out there and you gotta do a good job. Oh, all right, all right. I'll answer the call. Ramona. Homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. Ramona, I already know what it is, yes, sweetheart. Yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So, I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter Yes, properly. Ramona, yes, I will, sweetheart. Right, please hold. Please hold. Everybody knows what it is. We know it's the hoard. We know it's the hoard. Rotten food, used syringes, rusty metal among more common household hazards. Yes. An invisible odorless collective consciousness. Yeah. Okay. Ramona, you have a horde. 
You have the horde, as it may seem. All right, you take care now, Ramona. You have a good one. That's fun. Go for Peggy. Maple. Yeah, there's some kind of home security camera. What a I name! Purchase from you guys. For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. Mm -hmm. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Maple, I do not believe it is teenagers causing this trouble. I do not believe. Please and let me hold. tell you why. I've already read up on them before. They're called Night Wisps. All right, they're floating lights. And they just hover outside. They whisper wealth and good fortune. Honestly, not the worst problem to have. In this... You know? At least you're not like Gary. All right? All right. You definitely just have some night wisps. Nothing to worry about. Nothing too dangerous. Wear a sleeping mask. Put on a podcast. Get a, get yourself a noise machine. They're just there to make your life a little bit better, honestly. All right, you have a good one now. This one seems interesting to me. Oh, go for Peggy. Imagine if there was just a portal to a different dimension. Hey, uh, so Patty! I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Yeah, I think... Did I not I literally... I did I actually just call this one? Okay, did I just pull up the portal sorry. and then Patty called and was like, Hey, there's a portal in my house? Sorry, I broke character for a second. Patty, what I'm gonna need you to do... Is you need to... Step away from the portal. Door-shaped opening to an outdoor location that the homeowners discovered most commonly in basements underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, blah, blah, blah. A strong desire to enter. Patty, you need to leave. And you need to leave now. Patty, don't go through that door. Don't go through that door, Patty. I don't want to hear that you went through that door. I really don't want to hear that you went through that door. These little wine sprites are interesting, too. I feel like all the little sprites, the tea sprites, and this and that. This might, like, sound strange, Jeez. but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's still got to hiding in here oh Jules I have no ideas Please hold. travel gnome toilet hob separate clumps of wispy hair on each side not dangerous. Physical presence within the toilet they inhabit may result in plum plumbing problems. Stair slug. Not the slug. Certainly not the slug. Vines. No, that can't be it. Soap Sprite. Well, this is what I was wondering. Do they have... Because if you see, it's got little... Oh. Faint singing. Did I have this one when the greenhouse was around? Whatever. Uh, you know, maybe it's one of those... I have no idea. A squid? I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night last night. I could see something slithering underneath the sink. I'm gonna say you have one of those soap. Soap things. Mm, 
Okay. I'm sorry, Jules. Again, I'm new. Clock. 90% accuracy? I'm really getting better at my job. I really am getting better at my job. Warms my heart. Friday is done. Next up, Saturday.